We have seven starters back, uh, four on defense, three on offense, so we're going to be young and a lot of juniors. But the good thing is a lot of competition for spots, and uh, you know everybody's saying, hey, not too many starters back, but let's become a starter. So that's good. And the transition to Section 1, you know, everybody wants to talk about that with effort of football. And, you know, that to us is another opportunity to elevate our game. And we're going to have to. You know, that's the big boys up there. And um, But we have five familiar opponents on our schedule. So play Township and Warwick already. Uh, we scrimmaged Hemfield for years. So those are three Section 1 schools we're familiar with. And um, having coached in Section 1 for 11 years, um, kind of familiar with the territory a little bit with the coaching and, and uh, style of play but it's you know you gotta elevate those are the big boys up there well we have a quarterback coming back who's a junior who started for us as a sophomore uh, great cerebral heady player makes good decisions loves the game of football and, and uh, we think he's a pretty good player so you know we're, we're going to focus on Jeremy and uh, let him lead us a bit we have really good skilled uh Real good competition for those skilled positions. We bring in Zach Sando, who's a two-year starter, cornerback, and uh, safety and, and receiver for us. We're going to move him down to a slot back so he's going to be able to catch the football, carry the football, do a lot of things for us. Um, so those two guys will definitely be weapons. We have two good, tough fullbacks who will be first-year players for us, um, starting anyway, who we think we'll get good production from. It's exciting for us because we're running a new offense and a new defense, uh, new systems there. So brought some different coaches in to uh, help us with those systems. and It's all about improvements. On offense, we're going to be running a flex bone, which is you see with Georgia Tech and Navy. Uh, we feel... Uh, moving up to section one, this will give us the best opportunity to compete with the big boys. You know, on defense, we're going to go to a 3 3 stack. Sort of the same mindset on defense. You know, we're going to be moving around. Hey, account for us. Where are we going to be? You don't know that every play. And, you know, some college teams, West Virginia runs a 3 3. And a lot of the high school teams are starting to move to it a little bit. But for us, it's going to be an advantage because we feel we can use our quickness and technique. Uh, from day one, when I came in, you know, first year 0 and 10, but. We, I preach improvement every every game, and, and then you saw us getting better and better and better. And last year we're two and eight, had a couple big wins at the end of the season, uh, none bigger for us than the one against Conestoga Valley. Um, you know that's what we're just looking to improve. You know every every game, and uh, you got to take it one game at a time, or else you look at the big picture, all those schools, and um, and they're all looming in front of you. You're going to get lost in the shuffle, and kids are going to get dismayed. So right now we're focused on Exeter Week One.